and the announcer announces, this is the end of the line. This train is going out of service. And so I panicked. So I go to the call box and I, there's no knob on it. So I pushed it in thinking it was gonna be a pop out door. It didn't pop out. So I'm taking my nails, my nails. And I'm trying to open the box, the call box. Huh, wouldn't open. Went to the other call box on the other side. The box wouldn't open. I'm in a dark tunnel, it's dark. The lights on the train are still on, but everything around me is pitch black. All I see behind me is a small light at the end of the tunnel that lights up the track. I'm panicking. So I dialed 911 from my cell phone. My call went through, hallelujah. What's up everybody and welcome to Tam's Table. So excited to have each one of you at Tam's Table. So pull up a chair and take a seat and ring the bell for VIP. A brand new video is coming up now at Tam's Table. What's up everybody and welcome to Tam's Table. Y'all, I'm so excited to have y'all here with me today. To all of my VIPs that have subscribed and you've rung that notification bell, thank you so much for sticking around and rocking with me. And to all of my visitors, you all are welcome. Pull up a chair because today we have a special treat for my VIPs. We have the Big Mac Hack at Tam's Table. Y'all, I'm so excited to bring this to y'all. This was an idea of one of my VIPs. Her name is Sandy. And I am going to challenge my subscribers. Yes, instead of uh, challenging my fellow YouTubers, and y'all can jump in and do it too. I'm challenging my subscribers to copycat this Big Mac hack. So watch the video and see exactly how to build these fries. And then we're going to get down and get to grubbing and I'll tell you exactly how the challenge goes. So the very first step of the Big Mac hack is get yourself some fries. You can use any kind of fries you want. You can use fast food fries, the skinny fries, shoestrings, crinkle fries, whichever kind you want. Just make sure they pipe it hot. Pipe it hot. Next, you want to grab your ground beef. Now you can use ground beef or ground turkey, or you can use a meat substitute. Y'all, this stuff is hot. I don't want to burn myself. Oh, y'all, I wish y'all could smell this. Y'all, this is ground turkey with a little sauteed mushrooms. You do not have to add mushrooms at all. Kind of like chili cheese fries, but Big Mac style. All right, so once it's all covered, next, I usually put cheese on a Big Mac. You add whatever kind of cheese you want. I'm adding mild cheddar. Why not, why not? Let's put it all on there. <laughs> Next up on the Big Mac is lettuce. That's right, lettuce. Y'all, I love the Big Mac, but I hate the aftermath. <laughs> so the Big Mac hack. Is the next best thing, baby? Lettuce. Not too much, but enough. And after that, they add that minced onion. Now, it's optional, of course. I'm If I say little onion, they still get heavy handed. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do a little bit of onion on mine, just a little bit. Did I ever mention to y'all I'm never eating McDonald's again after that sweetie challenge? I'm never eating it again, but I do miss the flavor of a Big Mac. What's next? What's next, y'all? Pickles! Pickles. Pickles are optional, but pickles do come on a Big Mac, y'all. They definitely come on a Big Mac. Is that enough? It look like one need to go right there. And one more right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Okay. <laughs> now, that sauce on the Big Mac that y'all see or that y'all taste, child, that ain't nothing but some Thousand Island. I promise you. It is Thousand Island <laughs> or something like it. But it's Thousand Island, y'all. You can be as light or as generous as you wish. 
and just put you some Thousand Island sauce on your fries. Okay, so now that you see how everything goes, I want you to build these fries, VIPs. Take a picture of the fries and DM them to me at my Instagram, Tam's Table. And then I will shout you all out individually. To all of my fellow YouTubers, if y'all want to do this, jump in and do it. But it's really for my VIPs. No shade, no shade. No, just kidding. Y'all, if I sound a little bit under the weather, it's because I still am. I'm getting over... Um, a little touch of whatever is going around. It is definitely going around. So wash y'all hands, wear y'all mask. It's going around. I know y'all know half of my time now I'm talking about some. <coughs> Anybody else feeling under the weather? Yeah, buddy. So y'all be safe. All right, let's bless the food. I'm so hungry. Let's bless the food and eat. Gracious God, thank you for this food that you've allowed me to receive. Lord, I ask that you will bless it, sanctify it, allow it to nourish my body and replenish me and restore me. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, let's get started. I'm going to take a couple bites and then I'm going to tell y'all. Tell you what's going on with me. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you, Sandy, for this good idea. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. 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 It tastes just like a Big Mac and fries without going to McDonald's. Oh. Y'all, that sweetie meal did me in. Mm. I said I would never go back, and I meant that. I ain't been back since. But now that I got this hat, this Big Mac hat, I ain't never got to. Mm. To any of my fellow YouTubers that choose to do this, y'all, this ain't no time challenge or anything that you have to eat all up. It's just fun. Something that I um, came up with to help with Sandy for my VIPs. Big Mac hat. Mmm. Y'all, it's just like chili cheese fries, but with Big Mac. Big Mac ingredients on them. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, my God. Mm. Mm. Well, I got to drink. Mm-hmm. We might as well go with the flow of McDonald's, right? Coke. Mm-hmm. If y'all don't know, Coke is the official, official sponsor of McDonald's. Mm-hmm. I know I owe y'all part two of that airport story, the airport train. I know y'all. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> and I'm doing it in this video. I left y'all hanging. Hold on, let me get a sip. That was good. Let me get some more. It's coming, y'all. It's coming. Ooh. I was craving this. So how are my VIPs doing today? What are y'all eating today? Mmm. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. 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 Mm, 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 mm. I can't wait to see y'all pictures of how y'all fries look. Sandy, I really can't wait to see yours because this was your idea. Like, you never include any of your VIPs. And your challenges. I'm like, well, I never thought y'all would want to participate. I mean, 
Y'all want to be on camera? <laughs> y'all want me to put y'all on camera? I was just going to shout y'all out. Uh, let me know when you send a picture of your fries. If you want to be announced or, or shown on camera. Mmm. Oh. Y'all, a little touch of mushroom and the ground turkey is setting this stuff off. I didn't put too many onions. I only put a few. Still got some left. Mmm. All right, one more bite, and I'm going to get to the airport store because I know y'all waiting. I know y'all waiting to hear what happened to me. But everybody else is just now tuning in for the first time. Welcome. I got stuck on the train at Hartsfield-Jackson Airport. Mm -hmm. And this is part two, the conclusion of the story. Okay. So I was stuck on the train. The doors would not open. I pressed the emergency button, wouldn't open. The train immediately rolls back into a dark tunnel and the announcer announces, this is the end of the line. This train is going out of service. And so I panicked. Okay, so here's what happened next. I immediately turned to the call box because my phone is at one bar so i probably wouldn't have been able to get a call out but i was still gonna try so i go to the call box and I, there's no knob on it so i pushed it in thinking it was going to be a pop out door it didn't pop out so i'm taking my nails my nails and i'm trying to open the box the call box huh wouldn't open went to the other call box on the other side Tried it. I'm panicking at this point. The box wouldn't open. I'm beating on it, pulling on it, tugging on it. I'm in a dark tunnel. It's dark. The lights on the train are still on, but everything around me is pitch black. All I see behind me is a small light at the end of the tunnel that lights up the track. I'm panicking. So I can't get either door open on the car box. It's only two car boxes in the car. I cannot get out of the car. The doors will not open. So I dial 911 from my cell phone. Now, if you know Hartsfield Jackson Airport, it has its own emergency system. It has its own zip code. And when you call 911, you don't get Atlanta PD. You get Hartsfield Jackson Police Department. They have, a, have their own police and everything. One more bite. <laughs> My call went through. Hallelujah. It went through. I said, hello, I'm stuck on the train. It's out of service. I'm stuck on the train. She said, the airport train? I said, yes, ma'am, it's out of service. She said, we weren't aware that it was out of service. I said, this train just announced that it's out of service, and I'm stuck on here in the tunnel. And she said, hmm. I'm like, hmm. Don't you know what you're supposed to do? See somebody down there and get this train. And I'm just waiting on her to give me something while I got one bar. Tell me. And she said, one moment. She comes back to the phone. At the same time she comes back to the phone, the train begins to move. It clicks to another track. Begins to move in an opposite direction. And announces that it's going to A gate as an alpha. <laughs> so it went out of service for about two minutes. Two minutes of panic for me. It goes back in service. This train is now approaching A gate, A for Alpha. And so I said, oh, the train is going, it's moving again. She said, oh, it's moving again? Oh, okay, you still need my help? I said, stay on here. I just want to wait until we get to the actual gate and it opens up because I'm getting off this train. And she was like, well, what's your uh, terminal that you're going to? What concourse? I said, T as in Tango. And she said, that's the terminal. She said, you, you shouldn't even got on the train, girl. She said, you should have just from, <laughs> excuse me, I steal my code. She said, from security, you should have just went to your gate. You didn't even have to get on the train. And I felt this big. I felt that big. I didn't know. 
I always have to get on the train to get to my concourse, but this time I didn't. So I said, oh, thank you, ma'am. And I'm still feeling like a child lost in a, um, lost in a store. And she said, okay, did it get to the um, gate? Did it get to the concourse? I said, yes, ma'am. And she said, okay, have safe, safe travels. Happy holidays. I said, you too. Baby, I got off an alpha. I wasn't about to get back on that train and go to the terminal. I had to shake. I had to shake it off. I got off at Alpha and I just sat there and I just had to breathe. I had to walk and breathe. Now, the other side, of course, is another train that's doing the same thing that this one is doing. I went and got on that one. Y'all see my hand like I normally do? I went and got on the train on the other side. <laughs> oh. I went and got on the other train, took it to the terminal, and went up the escalator. Not only was I not supposed to get on the train, my gate, gate T7, was right there. You can't see it. From the security checkpoint that I was at, you can't see the gates. You have to come out and around. I never did that before. They said I wouldn't make it. They said I wouldn't be here today. They said I wouldn't make it. They said I wouldn't be here today. <laughs> That's how I feel. Lord, I'm here only because of your grace. Y'all, that's how I felt when I finally got to my gate. Oh, and was waiting with everybody else with like eight minutes before boarding. Eight minutes. That's how long it took. Eight minutes. Took a total of 30, 30, 40 minutes to ride all the way around, get stuck, and then have to ride all the way back around. Yeah, 40 something minutes. Mm. Mm. But I'm standing here. Oh, hallelujah. Only because of your grace. I could have been trapped, y'all. I could have been trapped in a tunnel. Mm. <laughs> Mm. Y'all, yeah. this is going to be one of those shorter videos. Why? Because I am, again, I'm under the weather. I don't know what it is, but I'm getting over something. But I wanted to bring this to y'all because I've started to turn the corner and feel a little better. But... As you can see, I'm still straining the top. And still straining the swallow just a little bit, but I'm feeling better. I'm coming on. I'm coming on around the other way. <sighs> Excuse me. Managed to bring y'all a little burp, too. I don't know what day it's going to be when y'all see this. But I'm praying that y'all have a beautiful holiday season. I'm supposed to be singing carols. I can't sing nothing. Y'all see on the other video, I didn't even give y'all the normal um, intro. Because I didn't have no voice. And I'm still struggling. Mm. Mm. But, mm. but I think another day or two, I'll be okay. That's what I'm claiming. But the way my timeline looking on Facebook and Instagram, y'all, we got to be careful. They talking about a doggone virus blizzard coming. Stay in the house, lock your doors. Y'all, I'm rebuking this thing. Mm -mm. I'm rebuking this thing. Get a pickle. <clears throat> this thing's of the devil. Uh Okay. Mm, mm. Let me show y'all. I'm done. This is what I popped it up with today. <laughs> A wallet. <laughs> My friend bought this wallet for me when we was in New York. Yeah, I used everything to prop up my stuff. Ain't no shame. If it was any shame, I wouldn't have showed you. Mm 
Ain't no shame, child. Mm hmm. Mm. 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 Ah. Y'all, y'all interested in doing this Big Mac hack? Get you some lettuce, some ground beef, some onions. What else? Some pickles. Some Thousand Island dressing, some French fries, some ground beef or some ground turkey. And get it cracking. Ooh, I'm full. If this has been your first time here at Ooh Lord Tam's Table. Ooh. I would love for you to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. That's how you become VIP. Lord, listen to my voice. And you know exactly when it's time to come and eat with me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it out. My name is Tamara Faye and I'm going to lay down. I'm going to take me some, have me some tea and I'm going to lay down. Peace. Ooh.